Hey, what's going on guys? Um, I uh, did some Black Friday shopping, I guess, kind of. I don't know. Got some deals on some hard drives. So I bought two one terabyte hard drives. They be right there. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna set up an, a raid array today for uh, for recording videos. So I got two Seagate one terabyte hard drives, 7200 RPM, uh, six gigs a second, about. I don't remember what the benchmark. It's like 160 megs per drive read write around there, something like that. And I'm gonna set them up in uh, in a RAID zero, so I get some uh, higher uh, sequential reads and writes for recording and working editing off of. So uh, yeah, that's gonna happen. And uh, I'm gonna put her in the main rig down here in my drive. I already got two drives in here right now. Um, and then that's like my, this is actually the same hard drive, I think. It's a Seagate one terabyte. And then my other, my WD drive. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to find some uh, some SATA cables. I don't know if you can see in there, but I'm gonna have to figure out how to plug them in underneath my hard drive, or my graphics card there too, which is kind of a pain. Oh, this thing looks so pretty. I love the inside of this. Anyway, um, yeah, and then and then we're gonna set up uh, set up some some software raid in the uh, in the BIOS, just do raid zero and uh, yeah. So oh, I don't want to trip on my headphone cable. So we gotta come over here and find some power cables, and uh, and I gotta find some SATA cables, which should be back here somewhere, maybe. I don't know. I'll find them, and uh, I'll, I'll return. Hey, so we're back. Got the drives in here. They are right there. Had to do a little bit of, uh, oops, a little bit of wiring back here. I don't know if you can see. Oh, I got a light. Ah, light, light, light. But, um, I had to rearrange all my SATA cables, and now I don't have any more SATA power connectors, but they're all plugged in there in that mess, so got those hooked up. I did have to do a little bit of driver messing around because I was in AHCI, but now I'm in RAID. So now that we've got that done, we come in here, which I've already done this, but um, in BIOS, um, peripherals, and we're gonna go and make sure this is set to RAID, and these are gonna be the same as the first set. And uh, yeah, it should boot back into Windows, and now we're gonna be able to set up our RAID array. Hey, so I forgot to uh, record this part last night, but uh, we are going to, well, I'm going to just show you how I set up the RAID stuff. And I had to bring out this old ass keyboard because, it's a control F, because uh, my mechanical one doesn't work for this, this purpose, but I'm going to let her boot up. This is going to be actually um, formatting. There we go. So now we're in the RAID, I don't know option ROM utility thing and uh, right like we can press one I guess I gotta do it in here uh, to view the assignment so this is all the hard drives that I currently have right now so uh, um, what do we got got my SSD and the M005 is my other main and that's a three gig a second Seagate one and then we have my external uh, hard drive, this one down here. It's a one terabyte. Um, and then we have my WD, which is the 160. And then we have my uh, my RAID array, which I set up, which is LD21. So um, yeah, so if we go back, uh, in order to create one of these, you go to two. There's my RAID zero thing, but you'd hit um, Control C. And go in here, and then uh, this is how you set up your uh, your RAID. So, uh, spacebar changes. I don't know what it is, but this motherboard I can go RAID zero, which is what I'm doing. It's the stripe. Uh, RAID one is mirror. RAID ten is four hard drives in uh, RAID one and RAID zero. So you have two hard drives in stripe and two hard drives that are mirroring those. Uh, I have no idea what RAID five is, and I have no idea what JBOD is, and I don't know what that does, but. I went RAID 0 um, for the stripe block. That really depends on what you're going to use it for. Uh, I'm using mine for uh, mainly high uh, 
high um, file size video files, so I went max on mine, which was 256 kilobytes. Uh, initialization doesn't really matter, that's just formatting. It is formatted anyway. Uh, gigabyte boundary, no idea what that is, so it's going to be on. I'm assuming it's uh, the boundary to the max capacity of the smallest drive. Um, and then sector size, I did 512 because that's default and that's what's recommended. Uh, those can stay default. And then uh, then you go down here and you can't see the two hard drives that I installed because they're already in a RAID array because I forgot to record this part. But uh, uh, you just hit spacebar and hit uh, hit N or hit spacebar and turn it to Y and uh, and yeah, it, uh, it puts it in the uh, in the RAID array and then it'll show up in here. So I've got my uh, RAID zero. Uh, two terabytes of uh, RAID 0 and uh, yeah so I'll continue the rest of the video from here hey so here we are in the uh, trying to find a way to hold this so it's better that way sure why not um, we are back on my desktop now and we're going to set up the Partition. So we're going to go uh, create farm out hard. We're going to go into the disk manager. And uh, we got uh, disk one right here. And we're going to set this up. Um, sure, we're going to initialize that. It's two terabytes. That is the RAID array we set up. So we got 1800 and some odd gigabytes of unallocated space. Uh, and we're going to do just a new simple volume. It's going to be all of it. Uh, we're going to use this as R, the R drive. Uh, format this with this, sure, default allocation, volume label. And I'm going to call that my RAID disk. If I could type while oh, holding a camera. Sure, there. Quick format, and next. And finish. And now, we have my RAID disk R. Hooray! And I can open, and, oopsie, bring this over here. Uh, let's go to my computer. So, there's my C, D, F, and I drives, and then now I have my 1.8 terabytes of RAID R. And let's do a quick, um, Black magic disk speed test. Pop this up. Let's do, let's do a target drive. R. Select the folder and go. Oh yeah. <laughs> and that is the power of RAID 0. These drives are usually about 180, I think, by themselves. So that's pretty solid. That'll be my new recording destination folder. So cool. Speed, raise zero. Uh, give her a try. It is un unredundant, so if that one of those drives die, everything on it's done. But I'm not going to keep anything important on it, so should be good. If you uh, if you enjoyed my uh, little video of my raid adventures, leave a like and. Yeah, see you later.